Hey, what is going on guys? So you have the Samsung Galaxy S8, S9, even the S10, or even the Plus versions, and you have an issue when you open up your camera, it's saying, warning, camera failed. Well, I'm gonna give you a bunch of solutions to get 90% of you guys up and running right now. Now, it doesn't matter if it's happening, most of you guys, it's gonna happen on the front side, but regardless if it's happening on the front side or the back side, we're gonna go through a bunch of steps here. So the first thing is this, okay? Go ahead and you wanna go into your recent apps, so tap on the bottom left recent apps icon right there, the three vertical lines. Tap on that. These are all your background running apps right now. What you want to do is close all of them because it's possible that one of these apps is interfering with the camera. So you can just swipe up and close it or if you want to close like all of them all at once, simply tap on close all. Just like that. Now go ahead and open up your camera and hopefully the issue is gone. If not, we're going to go to step number two. So the second step here is basically just to make sure that you have Smart Stay turned off. So go ahead and scroll down your notifications, tap on the gear icon to get into your settings here. And then from here we want to scroll down and we want to look for advanced features, tap on that. And then from here you want to go down to where it says motion and gestures, tap on that. And then where it says Smart Stay right here, you want to make sure that this is toggled off. Okay, so if you had it on, toggle it off. Go ahead and see if the camera's working. If not, we're gonna to go to option number three. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna force the camera app to stop, okay? So simply go back into your settings here, tap on that gear icon, and this time we're gonna go down to where it says apps, tap on apps. Now we're gonna look for camera. Everything is in alphabetical order. So tap on camera, don't tap on the settings yet. Tap on camera. We have four stop right there. Go ahead and tap on four stop. Four stop down here. Now go ahead and open up a camera, see if it works. If not, we're gonna to go to step number four here. Step number four is the same area. Let's go down, go into settings again. We're gonna go into apps. We're gonna go back into camera here. Oops, or yeah, camera right here. And now you see the settings icon right here. Actually, you can tap on that, or you can go back here and you can tap on the settings icon right there. And then from here, we wanna scroll all the way down to the very bottom, or second to the bottom, it says reset settings. This will reset your camera settings, okay? So tap that on there and it says camera settings will be reset. Simply tap on that. Now it's been reset, open up the camera and hopefully you're back up and running. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step. So the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and boot into safe mode. Now, once we're in safe mode, that's not going to load any third party apps or apps that you downloaded, okay? So once we get into safe mode and we open the camera and if your camera's fine, then the corporate is one of your apps, okay? So let's go ahead and go into safe mode first. Go ahead and bring up the power off menu. You can hold the, uh, or actually it's this, sorry, this power button here, just press and hold. Power off menu will pop up. Now just press and hold the power off. And then this safe mode here will pop up. We're gonna go ahead and tap on that and we're gonna enter safe mode. We will know that we're in safe mode. It should be, it should say safe mode down here on the bottom left hand side. Again, this only loads, this does not load third party apps, okay? So wait for this to boot back up. Okay, so you can see that we're in safe mode here. You can see in the bottom left-hand side, whatever I do here, you're gonna see safe mode in the bottom left-hand side, okay? So now, while you're in safe mode, I wanna go ahead and bring up your camera and see if you still have the issues. If you don't have the issues, then the culprit is one of your applications, okay? So this is what you have to do, okay? So it's one of the third-party apps that you downloaded. Now the thing is, it's now typically you want to uninstall it but in this case you don't really have to install it for instance i had a on another samsung galaxy phone i had an issue where i was getting the uh warning camera failed sign however it was because of a my whatsapp that i was using in the whatsapp settings it said um, allow camera access i had that checked i had to uncheck it then it works so take note it could be a settings in a particular app another thing that you can do too is you can go ahead and uninstall an app I almost forgot, but one, one other thing to mention too is it's possible if you downloaded some kind of widget or like a some kind of flashlight app, that can affect the camera as well. Anyways, you need to troubleshoot. You need to start uninstalling apps um, right before you started having that, or right after you started having that issue. So you have to kind of like troubleshoot, start uninstalling the apps, going back to your camera and see which app was actually causing the issue. If that still didn't work, we're gonna to go to the next step here. So the next step here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna force the uh, Samsung Galaxy phone to reboot, okay? So simply what you wanna do with this one is a two key combination. It's gonna be the volume down 
and power button. You want to press and hold both of these buttons and wait till the Samsung logo appears. You want to leave your phone on, okay? So make sure your phone is on. And this isn't going to delete or anything like that. It's just forcing it to restart. Volume down, power button. One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Do not let go. It just took a screenshot. I do not care. Just keep holding on both buttons and wait for that Samsung logo to appear. Okay, it's rebooting now. I'm still holding on both buttons. There's a Samsung logo. Now I can let go. Now go ahead, once the phone is booted back up, open up your camera and you should be up and running. No problem, no warnings or anything. However, if not, we're gonna to go to the next step here. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do here is we wanna wipe the cache partition. Wiping the cache partition only deletes temporary system files, okay? A lot of times when it becomes outdated, or cluttered, it can do a lot of things to the phone, it can slow down your phone, it can make it laggy, and it can also cause camera issues. So how do we get into, um, how do we actually wipe the cache partition? First thing we gotta do is go ahead and turn off the phone. So you wanna go ahead and power off your phone completely. So we're gonna go ahead and power down. So the next thing we want to do here is we want to press and hold three buttons simultaneously until the Samsung logo appears and that will boot us into Android recovery menu where from there we can select white cache partition. Okay, the three buttons that you, you want to push and hold at the same time, it's going to be the volume up, the Bixby button, and the power button. Three buttons, volume up, Bixby, power. Three buttons, ready? One, two, and the phone is off right now, okay? One, two, three, press and hold, do not let go. I'm gonna wait till that Samsung logo appears. There it is, I'm gonna let go, and this should boot us up into recovery menu. Let's see if I got it the first time. Okay, it looks like we are in business. As you can see here, it says Android recovery. And then from here, you use the volume rockers, the volume down. You just wanna go down, down, down to where it says wipe cache partition to select it. Click on the Bixby button here. Oh, sorry. Click on the power button here to select it. And now, are you sure you want to do this? This cannot be undone. You want to go to yes, use the volume rocker to go down one to highlight yes, and then click on the power button to select. Now, watch this. Now, when I select it, watch how fast this is. Look on the very bottom of the phone here. Okay, it's done. Cache wipe complete. Now it brings us back up. It highlights reboot system now. Go ahead and select on the power button to go ahead and reboot. Once it's booted back up, open up your camera and your issue should be shot, solved. If not, we're going to go to the next solution. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and tap all around the phone, okay? All around the lens, everywhere on the phone, on the front, on the screen, as well as the back. So keep tapping all around here, then open up your camera, okay? If that didn't work, keep tapping. It's a possibility that there's like a loose connection a lot of you guys will get your, your phone, your uh, warning gone by doing this as well. Tap all over the screen and the same thing on the back. Get all around the lens. Just give it kind of a little like semi hard tap. All over, all, all around the lens as well. Even on the front, open up your camera and hopefully you're back up and running. If that doesn't work, next thing I want you to do is get both of your thumbs and I want you to press all on the screen like this. Press all on the screen, all around the lens. Press, flip the phone over, and do the same thing. Press all around your back of your phone, all around, even on top of the lens too, okay? All around, keep doing that. Fire up your camera, and hopefully the warning sign is gone. If not, then the next thing I have for you is do this. Go ahead and, I call this a smack method because you're gonna smack it. Kind of give it like a light smack on both sides. Even go on the bottom here on the front here and then go ahead and open up your camera and hopefully you're up and running now if you're still having issues go ahead and watch the video again and do every single step again sometimes second or third time is actually a charm okay anyways most of you guys should have your phone up and running let me know what step or which combination of steps you think actually worked for you thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye